Hello and welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. We're back with another video and another box opening of Masters 25. So another fun box to open. Uh, the last one we opened about broke even on the value of cards that we got in the box for what we paid for it. So with this box, just to be transparent, we paid $148 to get it hoping to maybe open at least that much in cards. So we're gonna do something a little bit different. While we're opening, we're gonna be recording some of the prices of these, and at the end of the video, we're gonna see where we landed, and I'm mainly looking at the cards that have a dollar plus in value, things that are easy to trade, easy to sell, you know, anything really under a dollar, not really gonna look into, trying to keep it with the cards that, that matter at the end of the day, but as you all know, with Masters 25, it is an interesting set. There's a lot of commons that are dollar plus. There's a lot of really good foils, uh, foil commons, foil uncommons that have some serious value as well. So we'll be going back and forth between a price checking tool and kind of recording um, on my little notepad here off to the right. And we're gonna see how we do with this box. So let's dive into it quick. Oops. Packs spill out. All right. So just get out of here real quick. Just the middle, the right, and the left. Obviously, we're hoping for that Jace. I think right now is in the neighborhood of eighty, eighty-five dollars. Uh, the tool I'm using is a website that just kind of shows the entire set and the rough estimate and price based on recent sales. So uh, we're looking at Jace is about $85 right now, according to that. So hopefully we get that. That will get us pretty close to that 148. Um, but we'll see what we get. We'll spend just a tiny bit of time through the commons. There's really only a few that we're going to look for here uh, in the common slot they're a dollar plus it's really just counter spell and relentless rats because popper is cool uncommons we've got a handful swift foot boots swords to plowshers raincore myriad landscape curse catcher boros charm ash barons ancient stirring street wraith simian spirit guide utopia sprawl and lightning bolt that's the ones we're looking for there um, otherwise just hunting down that jace so we got we go pretty quick through the, the commons, unless we hit one of those good ones. All right. For the uncommons, exclude Ordeal of Heliod, Brine Elemental, and Sundering Titan for our first rare. So Sundering Titan is, let's find his price. Looks like he's not gonna make the list of things we track. All right. Typing it up here to make it a little bit easier. Yep, all right. And our foil is Wildheart Invoker. All right, next pack, and we'll keep the rare pile over here. Foils here, and we'll get the mythics here as we open those. Again, quick through the commons, see if we hit any of those. Big ones, Arcane Denial is good though. Brainstorm, Geist, Fathom Seer, Disfigure. All right, we're on to the uncommons. Jalyra. There we go, Swords to Plowshares. Put that up here for the value. Genju of the Falls. And hey, first Mythic right away. Second, second pack is the Phyrexian. Obliterator. So that is 1861 is its estimated worth. And our foil is Geist of the Moors. Spirit token. All right, and Swords to Plowshares is it? Let's check. A dollar. 
All right. Next pack here. Again, quick run. Let's see if we get either of the two dollar plus commons. Not there. Balith Null. Iron Shaman. Herbis Protector. And Nickel Bolas. Sorry, Nickel Bolas, I don't think you hold over a dollar. I was wrong. Dollar sixty-two. All right. And a foil of skeleton eyes. Designs, Humble Defector, Herbis Protector, and Elvish Piper. All right, another good card. Elvish Piper is about $3. And our foil is a Fathom Seer. Seer, sorry. And then the foiling on this is amazing. It really works with that artwork. There, Kraken token. All right, first on common is a great one. Street Wraith right now is sitting at two fifty. For uncommons, I'll put them up here. Crow Sand Tusker, Ravenous Chupacabra, and Triskaidekaphobia. Please don't show us the mythic that matches this. We don't want that tree. And Ruthless Ripper is the foil. the Triscodecophobia, but I'm pretty sure the value isn't there. And it isn't. 30 cents. The old rare that's now common, Savannah Lions. Let's check through these quick. There we go. Counterspell is a dollar. Nutless Rat is a dollar fifty. Well, got the two good rare, or two good commons from that one. Put that down. Otherwise, Twisted Image. Ancient Craving. Artwork is really cool on that one. Fierce Empath. And a rare Mikikoro. Mikokoro Kakarokoro. Mikokoro, Center of the Sea. Fun card for Commander. And our foil is the Erg Raiders. And let's check Miko is 250. All right. This is the, pay, the pack that has Jace in it. I can feel it. It's in here. I know it. We're going to see it. Let's do that quick common check. Alright, Zada, Hedron Grinder, Angelic Page, Genju of the Spires, and it's going to be that Jace. Hey, a filter land, we'll take it. Flooded Grove, which is currently sitting at 650. Alright, great card. And a Foil Fallen Angel. Another one where the foil on some of these cards in Masters 25s look great. Especially with the little original set symbol for the original print run of the card. It's just a nice touch. They aesthetically are really, really cool. Alright, so we'll get that in there. 650. Alright. Check for the rats and the counter spell. 
Not there. All right. Kong Ming, the Sleeping Dragon. Blue Elemental Blast. Iwamori, with the open fist. And the rare is Ball Lightning. And a Dauntless Cather for the foil. Let's just double check. Ball Lightning. There's a dollar. All right. Spell or Relentless Rats, not there. Enthralling Victor, Congregate, Humble Defector, and Notion Thief. All right. And the foil is freed from the real. Notion Thief is a solid 50 cents, so we're not going to not track on that one. All right, we got Curiosity, Lore Scale Codal, Myriad Landscape. All right, that's one of those expensive uncommons or valuable uncommons, so we're Buck fifty for that. And the rare is Brian Stoutarm. Which I don't think is worth even as much as that uncommon. Oh. Alright. Hey, foil swift foot boots. Which will actually probably shockingly have some pretty solid value here. go yeah 350 or oh, sorry five dollars five dollar foil all right let's see let's see if we get this one to be that pack with that mythic plus the foil jace everything we need in one pack in one place to prove that masters 25 has value at least at its current price tag all right, quick check for Counterspell and the Rats. Not there, okay. Got a Balith Null, Merfolk Looter, Quicksilver Dagger, and uh, hey, there we go, nice hit. Chalice of the Void, which is at $50. We are starting to get there. And a foil totally lost with Fibblethip. Am I saying that right? Fibblethip? Yeah, there he is. Fibblethip. Let's keep those big mythics coming. That always helps. Quick check for the rats or the counter spell. Not there. All right. Pillory of the Sleepless, Heavy Arbalist, Ranker, there's another good one for us for the Uncommons. Sees a lot of pauper play. Ranker is a dollar. It up here, and Rurik the R, which is a really fun card, but not high value. The artwork on that is super awesome too. If you like big beastie creatures like me, the foil is an Arbor Elf, which absolutely has value. Currently seeing a lot of play in Modern. So the Arbor Elf is in foil. It's $1.60. Half 
way through here. Alright, dollar counter spell. And a good uncommon right away. So we've got Ancient Stirrings. That one right now is sitting at a couple bucks. At least until it gets banned or restricted from modern, because it is essentially $2.20. $2. $2. Zulport, Zulaport, Cutthroat. Iwamori, and come on, Jace. Laquatus champion. Laquatus assesses. Laquatus assesses. Hey, and a foil rare of Summoner's Pact. All right. Check that out since we're on the foil topic here. Summoner's Pact foil is six dollars. Oh, no, that's, that's non foil. I'm sorry. So we can check out Laquatus as quick. Yeah. 40 cents. Let's go to foil pricing quick. Is that summoner's pack is a little bit more valuable. Yeah. Alright, 1150. Counter spell. Not there. All right. Red elemental blast. Myriad landscape again. Is that clock sixty? Is that up there? Caustic tar and Gisela. Our next mythic. So we're at three mythics. Blade of Gold Knight and Sift Foil. Check Gisela out here. So we got 450. Hopefully, we still get one more mythic and find that Jace. Let me get these a little bit straightened up here for you. All right, another ancient stirrings. Ravenous Chupacabra, Utopia Sprawl, which is a dollar, and Darien, Knight of Kildor. Which is at a buck thirty. An Eider Shaman, and a fish. We're about two thirds of the way through. Let's see here. Zadahedrin Grinder. Kong Ming. Freed from the real. And Stryonic Resonator. Which is a little over two dollars. Hey, another foil rare, and a great one of Filterland. Wow, this one should have some solid value too. Cascade Bluffs, let's check it out for foil. It is, yeah, 1450, not bad. Nice, foiling looks amazing on it too. The goblin. Loyal sentry. Okay, let's just I forgot we're diving through these unless we see the two that hold value and they're not home. All right, angelic page. Curse catcher, two dollars. All right. Corona's Zealot, and a Protein Hulk. Protein Hulk is a few bucks. Nice little card. Yep, 
370 and a foil plummet. Sorry about making this video a little long. I just wanted to really do a full comparison, see if it's currently worth the 148 price tag. You know, if we can at least break even on these Masters 25 boxes, it's not so bad. Hey, dollar counter spell. Jalyra, Corona Zealot, Murder of Crows, and Living Death. Another really good card for Commander, and 250 for a price tag. And a Jackal Pup. Look at those red eyes. Jace. Where are you, Jace? Are you in here? Yes, please. All right. Uh, I'm gonna stop for a quick second. That Seb McKinnon artwork is always just so perfect and haunting. All right. Hey, good first uncommon 250 for that Street Wraith. Here, Crosant Tusker, Shadow Mage Infiltrator. Number one, this used to be a rare. I think it was even a rare in a different master set. And Coalition Relic. Really solid card. Just getting some rock solid hits here. It's five dollars. And the foil. Dusk Legion Zealot. And Stang. All right, we've got five packs next here. Anything for those dollars? All right, Stampede Driver, Pyroclasm, Ordeal of Heliod, and Conflex. Not even look it up. Worthless. And a foil pillage. Ooh, open pack open. Mur, Undead Gladiator, loved that from Onslaught, love the artwork on this one, Genju of the Falls, and Flash, actually not sure what Flash is valued at right now, dollar, hey -o. dollar dollar bill, and a foil white mane lion, And down the last packs here, will we see a fourth mythic? I sure hope so. Starting off with that dirge. Red Elemental Blast. Kavu Predator. Iron Shaman. And Blue Sun Zenith. Which is not quite a dollar. And Pillory of the Sleepless. Right, let's finish this strong with a couple of really good packs. Maybe a port or a blood moon. Great to see that. Jace. All right, Swift Foot Boots. It's one of those dollar uncommons. Deadly Designs. Sigh of Shinobi. And 
Hey, another filter land, Fetid Heath. It's usually good for a few bucks. Eight, eight dollars. All right, and a foil assembly worker. All right. Ooh, last pack. Come on, Jace. You're on the front, be in the pack. Let's finish strong. All right, counter spell. See a lot of those. Spike Shot Goblin, Congregate, Pyroclasm, and the last rare. Hey, it's a solid one. Twilight Mire. It's always good to get those filter lands. It's eight and a quarter. And the last foil is Diabolic Addict, which I think has a shocking price tag. Let me just check that out quick. Let's see where we're at. Diabolic is, hey, 224. We'll take it. All right, and if we take my handy dandy notebook here and see where we're at price wise. So, Almost $175. Thanks for hanging in there in that awkward dead silence. But yeah, almost $175 on a box that you spend about $148 to get right now. Not too bad. Again, you should never really hope to get the value out of what you pay for a box. It's really meant for drafting and fun. But hey, if you love packing cracks like we do, sometimes it's just nice to see that you're breaking even or getting a little ahead, which we did in this case with the rares we open, uncommons, and commons, things of value. So it was a successful box, even though we only got three mythics, a couple of them being really just rock solid ones, ones that I needed, I actually never got a Phyrexian Obliterator for all the other boxes I'd opened. So it's nice to see that. Uh, if you like what you're watching and you like our videos and you wanna help support the channel, first click over here, check out a couple other videos, then click over here on any of the videos towards the end and subscribe to our channel share with your friends, give us a thumbs up and like. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for helping us break down this box. Looks like box number two is the winner as box number one was about $140, $150 range. So it was kind of right at that break even point. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. This is Booster Therapy. Goodbye.